do like him. Yeah, of course, lost his place in the Burnley side at the weekend, but never in doubt that he was going to be playing for Lee Carsley today. Cap number 16 at under-21 level. 16. Last time out for Trafford, makes it number 17 today. It looks like England are going to have kick-off here. The referee is Anthony Bandage from Bosnia. And we're underway. England looking to make it three successive wins. They had a good November international window, beating, scored three in their last two games. Driving run here by Callum Doyle. And their first save for the Azerbaijan goalkeeper Rustam Samigulin. Yeah, it's a good bit of play there by Doyle, creating space to get the shot in. I'm just looking in the middle there uh, with uh, Madweki probably looking for the cross, but the shot... ...home side to venture forward. They have it here with Jamal Zafarov. Crossed by Akhmadov. Pick up there for traffic. Just a little reminder there that Azerbaijan can attack. And as you said last, uh, they actually beat Latvia as well uh, in a friendly before the Ukraine game. Last. I say that with the respect that you kind of expect to win. You know you're more than capable of winning. There's right a chance outside. here. Trafford well off his line, makes the challenge well. The flag was up for offside anyway to stop Agajash Salienski and his run. That yeah, was good, good positioning by James Trafford there. Side, but again, this happened a couple of times already. England players running with the ball and losing it rather than possibly making a quick pass to someone in a better position. Back out here to Morton. McAtee. It's a nice spot into Rogers and nodded behind England. With the campaign. I've well, taken it quickly and Rogers trying to scoop it into that top corner. A slightly different role for him today, as David was saying a short while ago. A man who naturally likes to play off the front. The, the two victories they've had uh, against Luxembourg and Latvia. Hang on a second, here's McAtee and Rogers. Just the wrong side of the post. Three attempts for him now in the last five minutes or so. England are getting closer. Yeah, again, good build-up play on the, using the width. Bit, bit of movement causing confusion. Um, and Rogers, unfortunately, there with a the near post. Uh, but I go quickly just go back to the, the formation of uh, Azerbaijan. For Azerbaijan now. Home crowd encouraged. Emil Safarov. It's a good ball in. And maybe he should have been the opening goal for Jamal Zafarov. Really good chance here for the hosts. Totally unmarked, and the header wide. Yeah, and again, just proving that they can be dangerous, even if they haven't scored loads of goals, they do get themselves into positions. It's a good cross in the end. I think James Trafford didn't even die for it, so he was comfortable with it. Elliot left behind, and the break on here. Akunzade. Salianski will lay it off. Good man, Safarov was well forward, behind for a goal kick. England have just got to be careful. This all came from uh, Madaweke losing the ball and the, the quick ball with the... the people weren't watching his games this season. Certainly were taking more interest after an outrageous goal that he scored for Hull at Rotherham. A chance here for Elliott, who's in, and England are ahead. Once again, Harvey Elliott on the score sheet for England. They've had to bide their time in this first half, but the Liverpool man edges England in front. Yes, yeah, so I tell you what, I knew Harvey Elliott was going to do it as well, James. He must have heard us, but no, it's a, it's a wonderful ball. When your top goal scorer gets on the end of it, there's only going to be one outcome, and that was a cool, calm finish in the end. Uh, as I say, important that England got that goal simply because Azerbaijan felt or it looked like they felt they had a bit of hope in this game. It's a beautiful ball, great run round the back, uh, round the back of the, uh, the defence there. Uh, and, and a great finish, yeah. Just trying to get a superb. A sixth goal in five games for Harvey Elliott. One in behind looking for Philogene. He might get lucky here. Persistence seeing him through. And it is a second goal. Noni Madueke into the near post. And England double up just minutes after going ahead. Yeah, and again, it's a good ball down the line. Gets behind the back. Back five, um, and Philogene, I think what was nice there is his persistence, he's got the cross in, and the goal, I mean, I'm, I'm questioning whether it's actually a goal or an own goal, uh, I have to see it on the replay here, but again, it's, it's great persistence here, Motoweke in the middle, as you said, 
I think that's an own goal. Well, this replay might tell us more. As you say, great persistence from Philogene. His pull back, and it might well have gone in off the knee there of Suleiman Damadayev. Certainly the PA announcer. Philogene. It's often been a good out ball for England. And he's done really well here, Philogene. by Emil Saparov, and they could be through here. Great recovery challenge, though, by Doyle, and has sent Akunjade down. That's a fantastic challenge, because that is one-on-one. -on -one. If he gets that timing wrong, either he gives away the penalty. Oh, that. But in that game as well, one from one for him so far. That's a good ball in there, and the header. And Salianski goes off target, and in the end, two of them got in each other's way. I guess a very, very good cross. I mean, they're, they're talking to each other, Salianski, um, in the middle there. And, and it's not that England have to be a long ball team, it's just that if something's working, just keep doing it. There's uh, I think the Harry Kane would get on the end of long balls in the senior side if the opportunity was there. So, half time, and England two to the goods here in Baku. Two goals that came within four minutes of each other just after the midpoint in the first half. Harvey Elliott continuing his fine run of scoring in this qualification for Azerbaijan rather than tactical. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, because I, I thought he was one of their uh, more effective players in that first half. So uh, you're right, I think that would be an injury involved in both goals. Uh, and looked to fret, and even in the first movement here, the ball down the left hand side was intended for him. Marweke trying to force his way through there, didn't quite have the strength to get beyond Damadayev, but there is a corner. Yeah, and the long ball, I mean, talks about it towards the end of that first half, seems to be the Achilles hit. Still going here for Azerbaijan. Zhafarov and hit from range, and Trafford with two strong arms to part of that one behind. That's a lovely save in the end because it was a chance from pretty much nothing. Uh, Rico Lewis not able to get the challenge in there. A shot from distance, yeah. I and mean, it's going on target. It's, uh, it's a decent save by James Trafford in the end. Shafarov looking for his man who has a fine passing range. We've seen that already from him. And a good delivery as well. It's in for 3 0. I think it hit Philogene last there, but it wasn't his initial effort. Harwood Bellis, I think, with the nod down. Either way, England are 3-0 up. Perfect corner, um, perfect header, <laughs> because it took a deflection. <laughs> but again, this is the problem with you, when you've got a... Uh, we look at the formation there, they've got the three in the edge of the box. No one's really wanting to go for it. It's a great header, as you say, takes the deflection. Goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. So <laughs> Philogene's actually turned his back. If I, if I was him, I would give it to uh, uh, to Bell, to, because at the end... Morton. The spread of play, Philogene has been influential throughout, and he is again here, nearly an own goal there, he's hit Mamadov last. Grabbed by Sami Gulin. Or even for the England team, I guess. Germany or Hungary? <laughs> here's Makati. It's a trademark run from him, he still might get a shot away. Makati goes down, penalty! Or is it? And in fact, it's going to be a yellow card here for simulation. Well. I thought the way he went down there was that he got a touch on the back. He was still pretty close to goal, but it is a booking for diving. Wow. Well, from where we were, of course, and our angle is not what the referee has. One's European Championship in 39 years since Dave Sexton guided them to the trophy. Zabajan have it here with Veliev. Space opening up for him as well. Lewis puts a foot across and had to as well because the shot was coming in. Azerbaijan have a corner. The, the long crossfield ball, uh, we just didn't see it in the replay there, but the crossfield ball, the, the England back line wasn't Harvey Elliott to the uh, to the England players running through the middle, but the ball slightly short and intercepted. Morgan Rogers has done really well. He can't shoot, but Elliott can. 4 0 England. And this is now officially a rout. Fantastic goal again by Harvey Elliott. I tell you what, he loves under 21 football, doesn't he? Uh, great play uh, by, by uh, uh, Rods there, getting down the line. Harvey Elliott finding the space in the middle. Um, 
Well, again, that's seven goals now. So if I were him, I'd be looking over at Madhu Okay, so I don't care what you do, I'm going to score more. I mean, this is wonderful play here. Pins the defender. Nice bit of skill in the turn. And say Harvey Elliott in the space, holds his run, edge of the six, and that's uh, was a tap in really, but great play by Rogers. Another goal for Harvey Elliott. Scored twice against Northern Ireland in their last game, scored twice here today. Five in three games. He's a man bang in form right now. And England, if it wasn't confirmed already, Kalabag, right winger. And he's going to go for goal here, but sends it high over the top. That was an uh, interesting choice given. Four and a half minutes left of normal time. Maybe a chance here. Abdulayev, Trafford makes the save. And Azerbaijan have got themselves on the score sheet. Clean sheet gone for England. And it's been put in by the substitute, Ramin Nazulit, who's only just come on. Yeah, that's going to be a blow for James Trafford and that England back line. But you could see this happening. I did mention it earlier about how the line was staggered, the, the, the defensive line. Same thing here, defensive line was staggered. That allowed the ball over the top to, to leave the attacker, as we see here. You can see the staggered line. Yeah, and he's onside. There's no question about it. You don't even need VAR for that. Um, in the end, it's a half chance with the shot there. I think James Trafford possibly could have held that, but the, the push away has fallen nicely for the substitute. So he's, he's buried it. Nicely said initially by Abdullayev, who did plenty of the work himself. And he goes now. Yes, Germany did beat them 7 0. I uh, hadn't gone that far back historically. But. Hang on a sec. Norton Cuffey. England could be in straight away again. And they've re established that four goal margin as it's put in by Archie Gray. What a moment for him as he scores a debut goal just minutes after coming on. That is fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, and, and again, as we were talking, you know, the midfielder, right back, centre forward, whatever you want to call him, he, uh, it's, he, the, the ability's there, the composure's there, and any disappointment about England losing their clean sheet has just been dealt with straight away. And it's a great run, great position there, touch out his feet, yeah. Goalkeeper jumped in the air, out of the way a little bit, but Archie Gray with, a, with an accomplished finish in that bottom corner, that's lovely. Fantastic there from Archie Gray. Burst forward from midfield and had such composure in front. England 5-1 winners here in Azerbaijan. By no means a vintage performance, but a fantastic scoreline for Lee Carsley and his side who got the job done.